If what you need is the thinnest laptop look-alike, look no further than the Lenovo Yoga Book we saw early on at IFA 2016. But if your taste in keyboards is more tactile, or you need more PC than tablet, then the Acer Swift 7 is probably more your speed. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is a quick look at what Acer calls the world's thinnest laptop. Some say thinness is overrated, but I like my technology as portable as possible. And at two and a half pounds, the aluminum Swift 7 is as light as it is little, but not so thin as to omit a headphone jack. The keys have a surprising amount of travel given how little space they have to work with, and the trackpad is huge. It took me a few minutes of swiping my way through Windows 10 before I realized I wasn't having any of my usual troubles with the cramped trackpads on other Windows machines. It actually felt just like the one on my MacBook Pro, except bigger. And this is probably my favorite part of the Swift 7, apart from its sheer portability. This is a trade show, so the rest of this machine's highlights are helpfully called out on its 13-inch display. Core i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD, Dolby Audio, and up to 9 hours of battery. The display you're reading that on is a full HD IPS panel protected by Gorilla Glass, which is fine, but it sadly doesn't offer touch capability. There are no fans to be found on the Swift 7, so its casing isn't marred by vent slots, but you absolutely will leave fingerprints all over the thing, and they're tough to get off there once they're on. Also, I didn't see any backlight on the keyboard. If that's true, this will be a lot less fun to type on in the dark. Sad. Honestly, it's been tough for me to get excited about Windows notebooks for the past few years, and I didn't expect Acer to be the one to change that. But here we are. The Swift 7 will retail for a buck under $1,000 when it goes on sale in October, and who knows, maybe it'll be the notebook that pushes Mr. Mobile into laptop reviews. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see, folks, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the last few morsels of mobile tech coverage from IFA 2016. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.